Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you things that moms actually want when they're having a baby. That's so cute. So I just wanted to thank Huggies Made By You for sponsoring this video today. Now I am one, actually the second sister out of six girls. Yes, we all have the same parents. And between all six of us, we have 15 kids. Now I personally have four kids and they all happen to be girls. Yes, I know, lots of girls in this family. But one of the sisters, who is the sister that lives close to me, she just announced that she's having a baby. Now as I was thinking about, okay, what am I going to get her? I just remember one of the hardest parts after having a baby is you're exhausted. You don't really want to cook food anymore. So I'm going to make her three freezer meals for us. So after the baby comes, she can just relax and snuggle with that sweet little thing. Now the other thing that I want to show you is something called Huggies Made By You. Now this is something that Huggies does that you can personalize the diapers. This is a perfect gift just to make it a little more special for the person that you're giving to. Now, if you do keepsake books or take pictures of your baby, these are the diapers you want to put them in because they're personalized just for them. It will be so cute in the brand new baby photos. I'm going to first show you how to order these personalized diapers and then we're going to head to the kitchen and I'll show you how to make the three freezer meals. So you're going to head to HuggiesMadeByYou.com. You get to design the diaper, personalize your card, and then they send everything to you. There are so many different diapers you can pick from. Now I'm gonna go to shop and then click on trend collections. These are some of my favorites. Now my sister is having a little boy, so I'm looking for more of a boy diaper. Now they have so many different themes and pattern ideas. Now my sister wants a little basic one, so I found a cute pattern that's green with little white arrows. Now after you pick your design, you can go ahead and pick which badge you want on it. So I picked the little green badge and then I'm gonna turn it gray for my diaper. Now from there you get to write words on it, so you can put his name or even just the initials. Now my sister isn't announcing the baby's name yet, so we're gonna go with initials. And I love how you can add the year, so you can put the estimated date, 2019. To so have everything picked out, you go ahead and push continue, and it will move you on to the next screen. Now this is where you get to select a card. You have different options, what they look like, and also different messages you can put on there. So I'm writing to Lauren, and the gifter is gonna be me, Aunt Chrissy. Now as soon as you're done with your card, and make sure everything's correct, go ahead and push the continue button and you get to check on your diaper one more time. Make sure everything is correct, the letters are right, the right message card is good, and then you're going to go check out of the cart. And that's all you have to do. You don't even have to wrap these. They come in a cute little box. So while I'm waiting for these to come, I'm gonna head over to the freezer mills. Now this first recipe is my white chicken chili recipe and you can make this in the slow cooker or the instant pot. Now you're gonna cook this in the instant pot for about 20 minutes or in the slow cooker for about eight to 10 hours on low or three to four hours on high. All right, so this is how I do my freezer meals. I like to stick them in a pitcher because I can put everything into it without it tipping over or spilling. All right, so now I'm gonna add two to three chicken breasts, depending on how big they are. Then one can of cream of chicken soup two cans of cannellini beans. I rinsed and drained these. If you have other white beans you like, you can add those instead. A small can of green chili peppers. Now this is a large can, so I'm just gonna put half of it into the freezer meal. Next, you're gonna add one package of taco seasoning. I like to use mild. And then one can of chicken broth. And that is all there is to this recipe. It is so simple and easy, but tastes amazing. So. When you're done with your freezer meal, go ahead and pull it out of your pitcher. I like to zip it closed and then mix it up a little bit so everything blends well together. Now you can lay this flat and put it right into your freezer just like that. It will freeze flat. And then I put it in the refrigerator the night before. So all I have to do is either dump it in my Instant Pot or my slow cooker. So in my Instant Pot, you're going to go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure that it's on the ceiling. Now with this model of Instant Pot, I'm gonna push pressure cook. If you have a different one, you can push manual. So we're gonna go down to 20 minutes. When it's all done, go ahead and do a quick release, take your lid off, 
and you're going to shred up your chicken. I like to serve this soup with sour cream, cheese, and a side salad. The next recipe is my creamy Italian pasta. All right, so you're going to take two cups of chicken that are already cooked and chop them up. You're going to put them right inside of your Instant Pot. Now, if you don't have an Instant Pot, I have a stove top directions down in the description for you. So next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter and then two cups of this little tiny pasta. You can use any pasta you like. My kids love this tiny pasta. It's their new favorite thing. Then you're going to add two cups of chicken broth. Now, after you add your chicken broth, although I didn't show it, make sure you mix your noodles in your chicken broth so it can cook evenly. Now go ahead and put your lid on and make sure that it is sealed all the way. We're gonna put the little knob onto sealing, not venting. And then for the time, we're gonna do pressure cook or manual button, depending on what you have. We're gonna go all the way down to just three minutes. Now when the timer goes off, I let it sit there for about five minutes inside the pot. Then I did a quick release to let the steam back out. Now go ahead and take the lid off and your noodles should be all the way cooked. Now go ahead and stir that around a little bit. Make sure your noodles are separated and we're going to add one eight ounce block of cream cheese, about half a cup of milk. You can add salt and pepper to taste, however much you prefer, and then one tablespoon of basil. Now we're gonna push cancel and push the saute button so we can get the bottom of the pot pretty hot while we melt the cream cheese. Now be patient as you stir, it takes a little while to break up that cream cheese and let it melt. Now once it's pretty much incorporated, you're gonna add one eight ounce container of fire roasted tomatoes and a half a cup of Parmesan. And go ahead and mix that all together. Now for my favorite part, I love spinach and noodles. You're gonna add two heaping handfuls of spinach and go ahead and mix that in until the leaves have become wilted. Now you can store this in different containers. The good thing about this recipe is they don't have to cook it. All they have to do is heat it up and it's ready to go. So you can put it in this type of container, put a lid on, stick it in the freezer. You can also put it in a foil container with foil on top, but I like to put mine in a freezer mill, zip it up, lay it flat with the rest of the freezer mills. Now this recipe is beef stew freezer mill. So you can make this in the slow cooker, cook it on low six to eight hours or high three to four, or you can cook it in the instant pot for about 30 minutes. Okay, I'm doing my little bag trick because it's my favorite trick. You go ahead and put your freezer mill bag on a water pitcher. Then you're gonna add one pound of stew beef. On top of that, you're gonna add a Lipton onion soup mix. This is one of my favorite things in my stew. And then about three potatoes chopped up. Now I like to keep my potato skins on my potatoes. You can peel them if you want to. All right, next we're gonna add just one pound of carrots. Now this, because it's a soup, you can chop those up. And then about one cup of frozen peas. Now this stew is getting a little full, so I'm going to pull up the sides of my bag. Next, we're gonna add two cans of cream of mushroom soup, just right on top of the peas. And after you put both cans in, you're gonna add one can of tomato sauce. Just make sure the sides of your bag, your freezer bag, is up. All right, now here comes the tricky part. You're gonna take both sides of the bag and pull it up slowly. Now the soup is going to all go down a little bit so you'll be able to close your Ziploc bag. Now once your bag is sealed really, really tight, you can go ahead and mix it around a little bit so it will be all ready to freeze. Now if you want to put this in the Instant Pot, you can cook it for 30 minutes. Just make sure you add just a little bit of water so it will pressurize. And these are my three freezer meals all ready to go for my cute little sister. Okay, diapers are ordered, freezer meals are made, and now we are ready. So these are the cute boxes that the diapers come in with the card just sitting right on top. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. Well, I'll have to say that these diapers were a huge success. They were so easy to order and I love that they were personalized by me.
And I think she really enjoyed the freezer meals too. Well, at least she will once her baby's here. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed these freezer meals and don't forget to go check out Huggies Made By You. They are the perfect personalized gift for those new moms that are having a little one. We'll see you next time, bye.